Hey guys! In this video we'll cover another few objectives for the MO200 exam and namely autofill, inserting and deleting columns, rows and cells. Before we start, as always I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and now let's begin. So let's begin with these two objectives and perhaps with this one, so inserting cells. So our task will be to insert a new cell between those two cells. To do that, let's click here, for example, and just to prove you that Excel doesn't insert an entire row, but only a cell, I'll write here some text like that. And so to insert this new cell, you right mouse click here, click insert, and Excel asks us what to do with the surrounding cells. So we'll shift cells down, let's click OK, and here is our new cell. Perfect. In order to remove that, we click it again, delete, and shift cells up. Perfect. You can notice that the column B remained unchanged. Now let's do something similar to rows and columns. So let's say that you want to insert two new columns to the left. To do that, we click here and se select the number of columns. So two columns, right mouse click here, insert. And now we have inserted two new columns here. To delete them, right mouse click, delete. We can do that same for rows. So let's insert five brand new rows above this cell or this row 21. So we'll select five rows. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. Right mouse click, insert, and now we have five new rows. Great. So that is everything concerning inserting and deleting cells and rows and columns. And now let's look into autofill. So it is an intelligent feature of Excel that enables you to save some work in that you don't have to write out everything yourself, but Excel can predict what you want to write. So let's do it on a new sheet. And the most basic function of autofill is copying. So let's insert text here. And to use autofill, you put your pointer here and simply drag it. We can do it either vertically or horizontally. Autofill is of course more intelligent than that. And the most useful or most common feature is to write out sequences. So there are firstly a few text sequences that Excel knows, like days of the week. So we can write, we can write Monday and use the autofill to fill that sequence for us. And also like months of the year, abbreviated like January, December, great. And we can also like the entire word. And you might ask yourself how Excel knows that. And it is because these text sequences are saved in Excel. We go to the Files tab, Options, Advanced, and go all the way down. And here are lists and sequences. So we can edit them. You can see these sequences and you can actually create your own sequence, select it, and import it here. Perfect. And now let's look at numbers. So the most basic sequence is, let's say, when you write 1 and 2 and Excel recognizes that sequence. And we can also do something more complicated like minus 4, 10. So the difference is 14 and we can expect the Excel to go on. So now it will be 24 
and 38. Perfect, and Excel fills out that sequence for us. We can use also sequences for dates. So let's write out January 1st, 2021. Enter. So now it will be only like the consecutive days, but we can also fill out like more types of date sequences and let's do that again. And here are more options available. So we can fill like the series the way we did. We can fill, for example, only weekdays, months, years, and so on. So let's click, for example, years. And you can see that January 1st of every year is autofilled. So yeah, guys, that is all for today. I hope you find it useful. If so, smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.